Welcome to Bad Tree Productions, the cool Mopar channel with a Ford. All right, pretty popular video. I've been seeing it just growing and growing. Lots of comments, lots of questions. Um, I'll answer some, the ones I can remember, ones I can't. Well, comment on this video. We've had it a while. I did some things to it a few years ago. It's a pretty cool old truck. Let's go check it out. And uh, like I said, I'll tell you all about it. Come on. All right, this here is a 1995 Ford F-350 crew cab long box. It has nicknames like most of our junk. I usually call it like the screw cab schlong box. Heard that on zip ties and bias flies. I think it's hilarious. This one here is equipped with the 460 gas big block and a ZF five speed transmission. It also has solid front axle for the four wheel and uh, 410 gears front and rear and limited slip. Um, inside here, it's a work truck. Don't judge. It's got the uh, the Centurion interior package. So it's got real wood throughout the doors and the dash, full gauge cluster. And like I said, the five speed manual transmission, manual transfer case lever. It has power windows, power mirrors, power locks, air conditioning, cruise control, all the necessities of a new truck, but for like, a tenth of the price. I paid six grand for this a couple years ago and uh, it's been a damn good truck. I've put quite a few miles on it and they're all hard miles. It's usually towing something. Recently, since the last video, I've got a topper for it that I spray painted with Walmart paint and it matched, so that's good. That's just for winter, but now it's kind of perpetually on there. So let's pop the hood, take a look over there. So we've got the 460 big block in here and it was factory. I pulled it out of an 89 Ford, which I also used to own. And that the reason I swapped motors is the 89 had literally a hundred thousand less miles on the engine. So this one's pretty strong. And then I went to 460 EFIGuys.com and I got a different throttle body, which is more of a straight shot. It looks like a carburetor basically. And we got a twisted smog delete kit for the emissions. There's no more air pump, no more EGR. Um, it's all just motor right now. Still retain the fuel injection. And the truck thinks that everything is still fine. It doesn't, there's no codes, no nothing. It runs great. Typically in town working it, it gets like 11, I would say. If I did the math every time, it's probably mid 11s. It used to get like eight. On the highway, the best, personal best ever, not passing anybody, probably had a tailwind, it got 15. I've never seen that since, but it's possible. One of the things too I did is after I did the upgrade is I did the high school kid thing and I put 35 inch tires on it versus the 31s I think that were on there. They're heavy as hell. That really messes with your gear ratio. Basically, the 35 inch tires undid what the new Holly throttle body did to the engine. The truck weighs would just mean that it weighs just a shade over 8,000 pounds. So there's a lot of mass to get going. Things I've added to the truck, um, obviously the topper. Uh, another buddy of mine sold me the cab visor, which also got painted with the Walmart. I believe it's a cobalt blue metallic and I believe it's Krylon, I think, and it matches really well. Uh, this is a Weston brush guard push bar, something or other, park store floodlight, which will reflect a street sign like over a mile away. It is hilariously bright. You know where that come from? Mm hmm. Never could figure it out. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> uh, I updated the sound system. It's got a extra cheap uh, CD deck from Walmart in there. And then I deleted the rear, the middle rear seat. And it's got three Pioneer 10 inch subwoofers 
wired down to one and a half ohms running off a single channel 2000 watt amplifier and all the interior speakers i switched to uh kenwoods factory ford size but they're kenwoods um we'd get a copyright but it's it sounds pretty good it's pretty freaking loud too look there's parts for the dart that's a that'll be another video <laughs> It, it's got a, um, I believe it's, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a turnover gooseneck ball in the bed. And it's also, and you might not be able to see it, but it's got a trailer plug in the bed also for goosenecks. I pulled goosenecks with it. That light hookup works. And it, this thing pulls great with the long bed and like a 33 foot gooseneck. It's, it's awesome. This thing just yanks. It also, oh, I, I tore that off too. Go back to, uh, we're moving boats. The end of that day, this thing was hanging on by two out of six bolts. I tore it off the frame. So I put a, it was a class four, I believe. Now it's a class five. I don't know what, 10,000 pound receiver. Um, that's new, I guess. Newish too. It's my backup camera. No, it's not. <laughs> Well, there it is, the Bad Tree Production. Oh, I guess I got to ant. I, I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. The exhaust. It is literally, that's just a fancy tip a buddy gave me. It is literally the factory manifolds, the factory Y. And then it goes to a, and, and that on the factory, it's three and a half inch. And then after the catalytic converter, they necked it down to, I believe, two inch all the way to here. I did a cat delete. So it's a three and a half inch Y, or it comes, the two Y's come to a three and a half inch, and it's a three and a half inch, like 30 inch long glass pack, and then a 90 degree turn, and it kicks out. The exhaust system is, is literally from here to the front tie. That's it, one pipe, it's nothing fancy. I think there's a piece of baling wire holding it up. It doesn't leak, but it's it's a glass pack. And it's a glass pack with, oh, maybe 20,000 20, miles on it. And a lot of, a lot of engine braking. <laughs> a lot of engine braking on it too. Yeah, so uh, that's it. She's a little crusty. Every year I say I want to fix it before it gets too bad. Uh, the, the, the rockers or lack thereof, the cab corners, that's all solid. This truck was originally a uh, Colorado truck, so it was really solid when I got it. Um, I do try to wash it in the winter, but, you know, it happens. So, all right. Uh, I knew this. I, got, I don't have my wristwatch, so I'll use my hands for the sun. And... Yup, I was afraid of it. Spear 30. We gotta go. We, we gotta go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <coughs> so hopefully that answers a ton of questions that you guys have been commented on the three little videos that we posted on this truck. So yeah. Thanks for watching again. And if you liked it, subscribe and hit the like button because you liked it.